Last uh, month, I unveiled an unprecedented effort to focus on our local economy during these incredibly difficult times and to prepare us for the future by expanding economic opportunities for Providence residents and businesses and leveraging federal recovery funds. Now, this effort, which we've called Operation Opportunity, consists of 30 clear and measurable goals ranging in scope from education and entrepreneurship to infrastructure and public safety spread over an 18-month period. Uh, and today I'm proud to announce that we've completed the first of our Operation Opportunity goals, the implementation of an executive order requiring that all new municipal buildings will be green, and that means featuring the uh, sustainable design and achieving the LEED, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, and CHPS, which is Collaborative for High Performance Schools Certification. Uh, as we rebuild uh, our economy for the 21st century, there will be a serious emphasis on renewable energy and sustainable design. This is about ensuring that we make smart decisions about school construction and municipal office space while creating green sector jobs for our residents. Uh, for example, the school that uh, we're on the roof of right now, the new Providence Career and Technical Academy, is a state-of-the-art model in green design which offers us a first look at the technology that will be used in all future schools and municipal buildings. A solar electrical system, a solar thermal hot water system, high efficiency heating and air conditioning system, a high tech interior lighting that maximizes daylight use while minimizing electrical consumption. It will also feature an interactive web-based educational tool that enables uh, instructors to use its sustainable systems as teaching tools. Uh, the Nathan Bishop Middle School, which is slated for completion this summer, will also meet the CHPS standards. Uh, in addition to the obvious environmental benefits provided by uh, green technology, studies have also shown that a healthy, well-lit, and high-quality environment for learning results in higher student academic performance, increased attendance, and reduced operating costs. So it also has a benefit in terms of the educational experience of young people of this city. So this is a win for our children, a win for the environment, and of course a win for our economy. And so um, while we're celebrating the first check mark of the 30 uh, uh, goals of Operation Opportunity, uh, we recognize there are 29 more ahead of us. And uh, through Operation Opportunity, we are working to ensure that our city is prepared at every level to weather these tough economic times, to maximize the opportunities that this economic recovery plan presents, and to emerge as a stronger and more vibrant city. Uh, so I'm going to now execute the executive order and sign mark the check mark.